Here's a different video that's a different view of the tree frog. Uh, kind of looking down at the front here at the reservoir and kind of at the, the front portion of the tree frog. So you can see all these all this buildup down here, uh, all this salt buildup. That's really why we're showing you this this ugly shot here. Basically just to show you that we're running high pressure arrow here, um, but we're running it really thick and we're somewhere in the 1200 plus ppm range. Um, still haven't had a, a uh, nozzle clog up, but even with that high concentration, so I've only been cleaning the filter once a week and I've actually gone as long as two weeks without cleaning it, uh, just to kind of test it out. So yeah, check out how dark that water is. Look at all that salt buildup. And you can kind of see up in here, there's the, uh, in the brain, you can see the tip of my finger there. That's part of the water that's circulating, keeping the brain full up here. And you can see all the bubbles. Then it goes down through the tray into the reservoir. And you can see it creates a lot of bubbles down there as well keeps the reservoir nicely stirred and uh, agitated and aerated. So even without having an aeration pump in there, we're actually getting a super aerated reservoir. And on high pressure aeroponics or recirculating deep water culture or ebb and flow, basically whatever method you're using, aeration is key. And you really need to maintain that aeration in order to have a healthy reservoir and a good beneficial biologicals population. Um, so yeah, you can tell our, our reservoir is pretty thick. I've actually got a second reservoir on here right now. I'll just kind of zoom over here, pan over here and show you, uh, just so you can appreciate how dark, how dark this is. And uh, so yeah, I'm running about 60 gallons of, of uh, reservoir action here right now. And that just gives me a little bit more freedom. I can feel like I don't have to be here every single day to top off the reservoir um, and if I want to let everything run for a week or so without any intervention from the outside I can do that and this, uh, this is kind of our test bed here for the tree frog so yeah be sure and check out some of our other videos here on YouTube and be sure and go to our website at multiponics.com and feel free to leave us a comment we always love contact you can always reach us at treefrog at multiponics.com.